But you all know that something is very wrong in America. Hey, every, man. every day, government at all levels grows more out of control, more intrusive in our personal lives, more of a threat to private property, and all in total and flagrant disregard in, of the expressed will of the electorate. The fact is, Americans have grown to fear our own government. Life is getting harder. There is less optimism about the future. The once prominent phrase, American dream, seems to have been dropped from our vocabulary. The reason? America is going through what Al Gore called a wrenching transformation of our society. What kind of transformation? What has changed? Where does that transformation originate? How does it directly affect you and your daily life? Well, the old structure of what was once the United States of America is being replaced with a new political and economic order that is drastically changing the very underpinnings of our nation. It is being done quietly, behind the scenes, without debate, without votes, and with no official announcement. Yet this new ruling authority has become the official policy of the federal government, every state government, and it's quickly moving into every city, every city town, and burg, and rural area of this country. The ruling authority is called sustainable development. And it's, the, it's blueprint for transforming human existence is fully outlined in a UN document called Agenda 21. Well, I've had 18 years of experience studying every aspect of sustainable development and Agenda 21, and I have learned that it is an absolute threat to everything free Americans hold dear. Here's what I know. There is a new language taking over our government. The typical city council meeting discusses comprehensive development, density, historic preservation, and partnerships between city and private business. Civic leaders organize community meetings run by facilitators as they outline a vision for the town enforced by consensus. Free trade, social justice, consensus, carbon footprints, partnerships, preservation, stakeholders, land use, environmental protection, development, diversity, visioning, open space, heritage, comprehensive planning, critical thinking, and community service are all part of this new language. What are they really talking about? Where was such language first developed? Well, the term sustainable development was born on the pages of a United Nations document called Our Common Future. That was the official report of a 1987 UN World uh, Commission on the Environment and, Deve and Development. As a result of this report, for the first time, the use of environmental protection and human development were tied to the age-old socialist goal of international redistribution of wealth. And that is the key to understanding the true purpose of sustainable development and all of its policies, control of all facets of the economy.